Hey, you! I need you to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. He said he's going to set us above all nations upon the earth, all right? Just like the officer said before. So right there, God is setting a precedence for the children of Israel. It has nothing to do with anybody else. It's all on us. If we listen, we're going to be above every nation. No equality, all right? Now we'll get the flip side of what God says, because remember, no gray areas, all right? Verse 15. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. If we do not listen to the Lord, if we do not obey his commandments, all right, if we don't do this, this is what's going to happen. That all these curses, that all these curses, like the ones that the officer was bringing out earlier, go ahead, shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Overtake thee. Give me verse, give me verse uh, 32. All right, I'm going to show you a curse right now that only our people can resonate with, okay? Deuteronomy 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Now remember, this is this is the time where Moses has just led the children of Israel out of Egypt. So he's speaking to them right now. He's saying, your children will what? Shall be given unto another people. He said, your children will be given unto another people. Now, it wasn't talking about their immediate children. It's talking about future tense, all right? This is Bible prophecy because Moses was a prophet. He preached about things that's going to happen in the far future, okay? And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. All right, so your children will be given to another people. Get this ready. This is where it happened at, all right? Slavery. Our children, which was us, our forefathers went into slavery, all right? They were taken away by other people. Okay, y'all remember that? Y'all seen the movie Roots? Uh, 12 Years of Slaves? Same thing that happened. Our, pe our children were given to another people, taken away, and what did it say? We couldn't have to do it. And there shall be no might in thine hand. It says there shall be no might in thy hands. There's no way you can get around these curses. Hey, sis, sis, hey, get her a flyer. So our children were given to another people. We didn't have no power to get them back. All right, because think about it. At that time, we're in subservient mode to them. We was in slavery. So when they took your children away to another plantation, nothing you can do about it, right? Right. All right, so that's what God's talking about. God is not about equality. Give me um, Deuteronomy 76 real quick, and then we're going to hit something else. All right, so I'm going to reiterate this to you again. Y'all go to church? You go to church, bro? Okay, so look, I'm going to tell, tell you this. A lot of people go to church, and they just talk about what their pastors, like, talks about. They don't they don't say what the Bible's speaking about. Because what your pastor's talking about and what the Bible's speaking about is totally different things, as you can see. All right, give me this. Now, let me ask you this. Have you heard this verse in the church before? Check this out. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people. Now, remember, we're back, still, in, still with Moses, still with Moses and with Israel in the uh, wilderness, okay? He says, for thou art an holy people. Talking about Israel. Go ahead. Unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. Chose them to be a special people. Keep going. Unto himself, above, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. All right, so where does Christianity get that, that God loves everybody, that we're all equal, and we're all special to the Lord? Where do we get that from? This is who teaches you. Your, your enemy, your oppressor teaches you that. Right. There's a reason why he teaches you that, though. Because read verse 70, verse 76, chapter 7, verse 6. There's a reason because a lot of people say, well, look, I know some good white people. They help me out. Which, you know what? For the most part, I know some good white people that do help me out. But that's only because of the Lord. All right? But the Lord said there's no equality. So I'm going to read this again. Check this out. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. A white man will tell you that he loves you, that we can be friends, right? Okay, check this out. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above 
all people that are upon the face of the earth. All right, so a lot of other nations like to say they're your friends, but if they don't acknowledge you as being the top and them being the bottom, they're not your friends. Right. That's how I know for sure that every other nation cannot be with us. They're not your friends, okay? If the white man is not going to tell you that you're the children of Israel, that you're the greatest thing that ever happened, and he's under you, he's not your friend. That's why they can't be trusted. Give me that. In uh, in the pocket. Um, never trust our enemies. That's what I need. I got you. We're not supposed to trust our enemies. These are the same people. These are the same people that brought you over here in slave ships. That's it. Brought you over here in slave ships. Taught you that your hair is trash. Taught you that your skin color is trash. And to uplift them. Think about this. So the, the young lady was here with her um. Her head cover, right? She had uh, probably wear weaves and everything. So think about this. A lot of women that wear weaves and wigs, like of the other nations, like that, that real doggy hair, when they get their wigs snatched off, what's the first thing they do? They cover their head. They're covering their natural beauty. They're ashamed of their natural hair. You learn that from your oppressor. He taught you that your hair is nothing. That your hair is nasty and kinky and coral and just too hard to maintain. He said, be like him, which is easy. You just throw some water in there and I don't know what they do. You just put a comb in it, just keep shaking and keep them moving. That's what they do. That's what they tell you. But the beautiful thing about our hair is strong. It strengthens our hair. Yo, my hair can stand, it stands up. All right? Their hair just drops to the ground. It has no life in it. Okay? Hey, sis. Hey, sis, you go to church? I do. What you got there? You said, uh, I love you. <laughs> yeah, I love you and happy birthday. Happy, oh, birthday. You celebrate birthdays? Uh, yeah, today I am. Okay, whose birthday is it? That's my little girl's birthday. Oh, your little girl's birthday. I'm okay. a big baby. She's still a little girl. Hey, check this out, sis. So you read the Bible? I do. I'm going to show you something real quick. Okay. According to the Bible, because, you know, we all we all say we love God, right? That's true. We're going to see if we hearken to him, because in this Bible, can you find me where it says to celebrate birthdays? No. Okay, but do you celebrate Passover? No. You celebrate tabernacles? No, I don't. Uh, new moon? But that doesn't mean I don't know what it is. It's just oh, that. That's um, good. Okay, I okay, got you. So these are the, the high holy days that are found in the Bible that God told us to celebrate. Yes. All right? So what do you think birthdays and Christmas and Thanksgiving came that for? That is something that we create. That's what our yes. in our own yes. so it, it's called birthdays, but I call it the celebration of her life because that's what I do. I celebrate her life because Give it's me, a part of my Joe life. Says, does, does God tell you to celebrate your life? No, that's just my choice. That's your choice. So yes. give me Isaiah 55 real quick. So look, the reason why I'm going to show you this is because our people, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites. Have you ever heard of that? Yes. Okay, so you know that you're chosen people by God yes, to be above everybody, right? Yes. Good. As long as you know, there's no equality. So exactly. you, you do know that you are I do above. have a little bit of sense. Yes, okay, I do. You know, I, I listen to what they taught me, and then I learn to do it on my okay, own I'm, I'm to find out some of what you're talking seven, about. Verse 7. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 7 let the wicked excuse me let the wicked forsake his way it says let the wicked forsake his ways being wicked is doing anything that is not of God, is not of God. exactly all right keep this going and the unrighteous man his thoughts his thoughts okay so it says I have my own way or I think this or I think that I think it should be this way that's what we all do all right so we should all Right, exactly. And let him return unto the Lord. It says return unto the Lord, which is this Bible. The Lord speaks to us through the Bible. The Lord's not going to talk to you at your home when you're on your knees praying. He's not going to say, oh, Susie, I'll answer your prayer. It doesn't work like that. We read this Bible. We study this Bible, and we know the Lord's talking through that. All right, read that part again. And let him return unto the Lord. Keep going. And he will have mercy upon him. He's going to have mercy on us. He's going to overturn these curses that are put upon our people, being at the bottom of society, being uh, killing each other, uh, uh, sleeping with everybody's woman, being whoremongers. He's going to turn that around if we listen to his ways. Keep going. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Keep going. Verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. So God says his thoughts are not our thoughts. And that's prevalent today in this society. Just like, just like for example, he says celebrate Passover, tabernacles, things of these natures. But we're celebrating birthdays, Thanksgiving, uh, Christmas, New Year's, things that's not in the Bible. And that's why God's upset with us. God, God punishes us when we do wrong. Just like, are you, a, you said you have a child, right? Yes. When your child did wrong, what'd you do? Chastise. Chastise. Yes. Right? Yes. Did your child did good? 
I gave her her actual days and her. There you go. Same yes. exact way. Yes. Keep going. Neither are your ways my ways. So our ways aren't God's ways. We learn our ways from our oppressor. Keep going. Say of the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. So it doesn't matter what we think. I could feel like me celebrating Christmas is not a bad thing because I'm doing it for the kids. I see no point in it, honestly, but okay. Right, okay. Well, look, that's what I'm talking about. So us celebrating things outside the Bible is what's keeping us in captivity because you do know we came over here on slave ships, right? Yes. That's documented. Yes. Did you know that's in the Bible? Yes. So you know that? Yes. So I'm glad you I know a little stuff. I don't know everything, but I know enough to make sure that my daughter does not walk in my ways when I did when I was her age. Well, uh, look, that's yeah. good, but I want you to worry about yourself too. You said save well, yeah. yourself. Yes. You got to make sure you're on point too. So well, I fixed me enough we love our just to we make sure she's not lost. Our people in sin because trust me, we're all on the other side too. Yes. But we hark into this Bible. Yes. We hoping that you do it too so you can get your family in order. Same way, sis. All right, but um, Job 3, get there real quick. The book of Job, chapter 3, verse 3. Let the day perish wherein I was born. It says, let the day perish in where I was born. Why is he saying that? Verse 1. Verse 1. After this opened Job his mouth and cursed his day. It said, his day. What is his day? It's my party, I can... Oh, well, okay. Well, I don't celebrate me. I celebrate her because she was not supposed to be here. So I can't... No, no, your, your daughter was supposed to be here. That's by... Well... Your, your daughter's supposed to be here. She was she was to be but party. that is why I celebrate her because I trusted God's word that, yes, she was supposed to be here. She I'll was supposed to be here. After this, opened Job his mouth and cursed his day. And Job spake and said, Let the day perish wherein I was born. And the night in which it was said, there is a man child conceived. The reason why he's saying that, the reason why he's cursed, he said curse his days because he was born into captivity, just like us. When you was born, were you born with a handmaid and, and in a nice big place, or were you born in a hospital and, and you went back to your apartment or whatever, you had to pay your, your mom had to pay bills and struggle to get right. you where you are? Right. That's why he's saying it because our natural state is to be on top, just like the Lord said. Now that we broke the commandments, he put us at the bottom. And that's why he said we're a cursed people right now. He said, curse this day. Curse this day that I'm born because I'm going to go through all these trials and curses and all these pains. You know, you, like, just like you said, your, your daughter was not supposed to be here. You had to go through all that travail before she got here. That's a curse. But, it's a, but I'm glad she's here, all right? But look, sis, the thing is, we want you to make sure that you that you keep the commandments. Uh, I'm not sure. A lot of people, when we come out, mm -hmm. when we learn about the Bible, mm -hmm. you have to stand up. Give me a Google Rise of Because you say you don't separate your birthday, right? Because my life is not my own anymore, that's why. Right, so you understand that birthdays are not the Bible, but then you're going to go celebrate your daughter's birthday. Because her life is of value to me. But you shouldn't worry about what other people think about you. I don't know if you don't, no, get, I don't. If I you don't get your daughter balloons and a present, oh, and she will be mad at you? No, but she doesn't even know that this is what's happening. This is about my choice just to put a, a bigger smile on her face for what she's already done. Sis, read it. I'm reading this for you. Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? It's asking the question to all the prophets and everybody. Who's going to rise up for me, for my laws, against the evildoers, the one that's breaking my laws? Who's going to stand out? Since this is your chance right now. You love your daughter. That's a good thing. But you don't have to celebrate because God commands us not to celebrate these heathen holidays. Right. These are things that's keeping us in oppression. You celebrate that, you know what you're doing? You're giving more money to these people that keep us in oppression. You celebrate the Passover is a beautiful thing. The Passover is when the Most High God delivered us from the hand of the Egyptians out of captivity. Not everybody. It wasn't everybody. He just said, everybody, let's go out of Egypt. If he saved everybody, who were they running from? He saved the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt from their oppression. Right. You're the same people you just sent from them. Same blood, sis. We don't celebrate for this. That's a custom that they kept. It is. So do you celebrate the, uh, the, the uh, holidays of your oppressor? No, I celebrate what I choose to celebrate, and I celebrate my God. back again to the choice, I'm going to do what I want to do. Yeah, because that is the choice that he gave me.
Well, she's getting the judgment for that. But as long and as you I accept that. that. Because, because I'm being judged right. now and I accept it. But I thank you. Price, thank you. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.